guys welcome back to my channel this is diana with the paper pineapple thanks for joining me today and just want to apologize for being um mia these last couple of days my family actually went on vacation and we went to washington so i just got back in yesterday and i'm ready to get my craft on so today we will be making an expandable paper card holder and it looks like this um so this is this was done with uh, double-sided um, paper. So it does have different um, papers, but you could totally do it with one-sided paper and I will show you how. So this um, actually opens up like this and it houses, this particular one houses four by five and a half inch cards with envelopes. Now these I wouldn't actually put in. I just wanted to just show you for demonstration purposes, but I would actually decorate cards and put them inside like that. And they house five cards and five envelopes. So I thought this would be a cute gift idea to give to someone for their birthday or a thank you or something. You can wrap it up cute, put like a seal on it. It'd be really nice to give to someone. So I will show you how to do this. We're gonna recreate this. So what you'll need is you'll need one ten and a quarter by six and a half piece of designer part paper it could be excuse me a double-sided paper or it could be single-sided paper you'll need two four and a half by three for the paper springs you'll need um a six and a half by four and five eighths for the front cover in the coordinating paper or you can leave it as is i mean it depends you know, how you want your um, card base holder to look. So it could be matching from back to front. And if you are using a single-sided uh, paper like I am today, I will be using, this is optional for one-sided paper, a six and a half by three inch for the inner top piece for the card holder base. So it'll be on the other side that will adhere this piece. So this is extra and optional if you do not have a double-sided paper. And for this, these papers, actually, I'm using the Key West um, Hot, Hot by Paper Path from Recollections from Michaels. Um, you can check out my other videos. I did, I do have a haul with me video um, from Michaels, and you could see um, that video to see what other paper pads there are available. I know they still have some out, and they have a couple new ones out, so you might want to check that out. Okay, so I grabbed the two papers from there. I actually grabbed three different designs um, for this. So what you want to do is you want to get your card base and then we're going to score. So I'm going to get my We Are Memory Keepers scoreboard. Put that aside. And make sure that I'm in frame here. And what I like to do is just like to turn it around just because I'm going to be folding it the other way. And I'm going to be taking out my bone folder. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to score at four and a half. So I'm like four and a half and we score down that gently, but firmly. Okay. Get this out of the way. So what you want to do is you just want to gently fold over and use the back of your bone folder and just crease this score line gently and so then you have this now for one-sided paper you want to go ahead and get your six and a half by three and you want to adhere this to the top like that so i'm just going to go get my tombow adhesive i'm just gonna add my adhesive there at the top Make sure that I have this all the way to the top. And I got the sides there. I'm gonna just push down. I've got a little bit of a white side, but that's an easy fix. I can just I could just leave it as is. But if it really bothers you when you put yours down, you could just um, trim the top. It doesn't bother me, so I'm just gonna leave it like that. Okay, so then you have this, right? So then now you're gonna get your four and a half by three. These are for the paper springs. 
and this is going to go right here. So what you want to do is, again, you want to get out your scoreboard again, and you're going to get the pieces out. Actually, I want to turn it around like this. So you want to get the three inch side. That's the three inch side. You want to make sure that you um, um, score the lines on the three inch side. And you're going to score them at every half inch. So it's half, one, one and a half, two, and two and a half. And so you'll get this. Okay, I'm going to do, it this, do the same for the other side. Now for this part right here, all you want to do is just do an accordion fold so it's one towards you one away from you and so on and so forth and then you'll get this you want to go ahead and do the same for the other side like that so you got your two springs so now we're going to get ready to adhere the springs to the base. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my art glitter glue. I'm going to take the top part off. And I'm going to put some adhesive, some glue, and you want to make sure that you get it on the edge here. You might have to look on the side to make sure that you get the very edge. So I'm just gonna put it down that way. You don't wanna do it exactly at the crease. You wanna go a little bit higher so that there's room for it to fold over. Okay, and then I wanna gently put some glue on here. Otherwise we're making a mess here. Okay. And I got both sides, and so then you could just push the springs down and then fold over the top. Carefully. Like so. Okay. You just want to gently press on there. Okay, so then you got your springs in there. You might want to let it sit a little bit so it dries, depending on what adhesive you use. Okay, so you got your back, you got your springs, and you got the front. Now, this is totally optional. You can leave this like so, so it matches the front, the back, and the front. Or you can add a different front cover like that. Okay, so I'm going to do my ATG guy, and I'm just going to add some adhesive. So this is optional if you want to add a different cover or you can leave it as is so it matches the whole base holder matches all the way around. But I want to add a little, you know, different colors to it. So just place it how you want it. Make sure that I get the tops of this. And you want to center it. It's kind of hard when you're doing it. So then you got a front cover, different cover, and you got the back. Okay, and I think I might have not gone far enough. So if you do have a little excess, you can just get some scissors and cut the little excess off. I didn't want to go too high, so I kind of like measured out. I want to give you guys a little wiggle room in the measurements for the top cover so that you can arrange it how you like. So you can you can actually do the cover a little bit higher if you'd like, but I want you to be able to see the the design on the, you know, on the back cover right here. So that is what the base card holder looks like. So now we're ready to embellish. So for this part right here, um 
I went ahead and picked out a couple of, let me go ahead and put this back on my glue. I grabbed a couple of pieces from, there is a cut apart sheet in the paper pad. And so I grabbed a couple that I thought I would like, um, like that. And then I can actually just go ahead and grab a piece of coordinating paper. So I can actually put this here. I can just like make a, make a box there. Don't want it too big. So I'm just gonna simply just get a piece of this cardstock paper. It matches and it coordinates. So I'm just gonna grab just a little box here. Maybe, I think four would be probably too big. So maybe I'll do three and a half. So we can just do a three and a half box. I'm just gonna eyeball it, but you can just totally just do um, any size box that you'd like. I'm just going by ear here. On this one right here, I did a little bigger box. Um, it kind of filled the space out a little bit more and you can totally do that as well. Just depends how you want to decorate. So I'm just going to use that like that. And then I'm going to get the cut apart and I'm just going to simply fussy cut. I'm gonna fussy cut this um, this palm tree, well, this palm leaf. this one too and it says see you at the beach I feel like it kind of goes with this whole you know flowers and stuff so I'm going to cut around it so like for example for this I just used the same paper and I just used embellish I embellished my own box with the same paper pad I didn't add anything else so I'm just using these cut aparts and I'm going to use them to um, embellish my card holder. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut around it because I don't really like the box. Um, I already have a box for the background, so I don't really want another box. So what I'm just gonna do is just gonna fussy cut this out. And I do like this cockatoo and I like these little flowers. So I'm thinking I'm probably gonna fussy cut him too. And I'm leaving the pink around it on purpose because I do want him to pop and I want him to disappear on the background. So I kind of want the pink popping out. So just making sure that I have pink in there. Yeah, you don't really need much. You make your paper pad work for you. So here's a cute little cockatoo. And you can go ahead and use, um, cut apart these as well, which I will because they're so pretty and I think it will give the paper, um, the background a pop of color. I actually like to make things work with what I have. If I don't have a need to go buy anything, then I usually won't. Um, well, of course you might wanna buy like maybe some, you know, some sequins or, you know, glitter or stuff like that. But as far as embellishing, you don't really need much. I'm thinking I'm just going to use this right here. So I'm gonna adhere this there. So 
so do you want this flower to come on i do want this flower to come on i don't want to cover this pretty flower or this one so this would be the perfect spot for it okay so i lay down my square or rectangle whatever you want to call it <laughs> and then i want to add this right there maybe i want to put it towards the center i kind of like the fact that it's hanging off the page because i do want to add this I want to add that like that. So I do want to use um, the Dollar Tree Celsius or the 99 cent store Celsius where they're like already cut apart for you. Excuse me. I'm going to get my scissors that I use for cutting adhesive because I'm going to be cutting out some squares. And I do want to add this behind here like that and I want this to pop up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to see where I wanna add this palm leaf. So I did add some adhesive there. So I'm just gonna add it like, like so. So I already put adhesive there and then I'm gonna go ahead and maybe add the I know for sure that I want to add this here. So, maybe I can add this to the side. I don't know how I'm going to add this here. Maybe it might not work for me. Okay, maybe I might not use this here, but I'm going to go ahead and add my pop up dimensional tape. On and you just make it your own. Oops. Okay. So I know I want it to the side here. Maybe I want it like that. I'm thinking I'm going to need adhesive up here. So what I'm going be flat on those ends and I don't want that. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some more adhesive on the leaf, on the on the leaf sides out here, outer sides. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that so that when I do put it on here, it does stick up. So I do apologize, my kids are out there fighting and playing video games. Okay, so I like how that looks. Maybe it looks a little busy because of the flower up here, but I think it looks okay since we have a blue background to back that up. Okay, and I do want to add some flowers. Well, I definitely want to add some flowers there. Let me add another flower here. Maybe I can just do like... I know for sure I want to add some sequins, so I'm, I'm going to have to save this cockatiel. I really do like it, but I'll save it for another project. And maybe I'll save... Maybe I'll just save... Or maybe I could just add it together like that. Maybe just two. I'll save that flower with that cockatiel. I know for sure I want to add some sequins. So I already have a lot of gold in here. So maybe I can add some pink. Would that look too, I think it blends in too much, so probably not flow. Maybe this fuchsia, this fuchsia color looks pretty. Yes, I think I'm gonna add that fuchsia. Never
going to add one on this side and one on that side. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so I'm just going to add a little bit of glue. And I'm just going to gently tuck it in so that it peeks out. And again, put a little bit of glue on this. Now, I'm like creating as I go. I didn't really have a plan of how I was going to decorate this, so totally winging it guys this ended up being a crap with me <laughs> so I know I want to add maybe I can add gold sequins in the middle is that like cute or is that like an overkill on gold these nails of mine are kind of hard to craft with I do that does that look cute I think that looks cute it's gonna maybe I don't need I guess I do, I do need one out here but I don't want to do the big one because it's just too big I think I'm happy with that make sure that the right side is up it does add a little dimension to the flower itself so it doesn't look so flat it gives it some dimension and I, that will dry clear so put my sequins away so that you guys is the completed expandable card holder paper card holder I think it came out cute. Now, this would be so versatile. Like you can decorate it however you'd like. But um, this is just my little idea. And again, you can get your five, four by five and a half inch cards and envelopes and it just houses, houses in there. And then you can use this as a gift. So these are like two different ideas that I had. I embellished them differently. One I did double-sided, the other one I did single-sided, but it worked. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, leave them in the comment section and I'd be happy to um, respond and reply back. So hope you guys like this, guys. And if you just do decide to make one, you can find me on Instagram at the paper pineapple and tag me tag me for sure i would love to see it and i'd feature it on my stories so hope to see you guys soon in my next video and don't forget all my information is at the bottom of the description i'll see you guys in the next video bye guys